Uh, the Honourable Member for Spine Fuga. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Today I rise to recognize November 20th as the Trans Day of Remembrance. People and communities across Canada and around the world are marking today by remembering victims of transphobic violence and rededicating themselves to working to end discrimination against transgender, transsexual, and gender variant people. Last year, there were 83 murders of trans people, and countless more were victims of violence and discrimination. On this Trans Day of Remembrance, we should also look forward, and we should ask how we can make things better. The past year has seen some progress on trans rights in places as diverse as Dallas, Texas, and Mexico City. Five Canadian provinces have recently added explicit protection against discrimination to their human rights codes. But it is clear that much more remains to be done to build a more inclusive Canada where transgender and gender varied Canadians can participate fully and live without fear. At the federal level, the Senate remains the last obstacle to full legal equality for the trans community. They have now held up passage of Bill C-279 for nearly two years after its approval by the House of Commons. Once again, on this Trans Day of Remembrance, we urge the Senate to pass this legislation without further delay. Uh,